the emerging thing in terms of, of the way people buy and engage is connected to a digital a rise of, of, of digital and its influence, both on the shopper stroke consumer and also on the retailer. And some examples of this are perhaps the growing influence of social media, whereby shoppers and consumers perhaps had a, a less powerful voice in the past than they do today. And very, very, very quickly, uh, a message can go viral on social media and that can be a positive or a negative. It can draw shoppers and, and potential consumers to a particular vendor or it can drive them away equ equally quickly. So there, there's, a, there's a stronger voice, certainly from a social media point of view, and linking to that is the, the rise of, of businesses that have to respond to that. So people are looking for an online offering. Uh, websites are going to need to grow and enhance in terms of their capabilities as to engage with shoppers from an E and an M commerce point of view, a mobile commerce point of view with the rise of the smartphone. So people want to also be able to have a conversation with a brand across channels and so an omni-channel conversation is really important. So these, these are, these are re really around the voice of a particular consumer but I think the, the retailer's response and going into the future could be quite exciting and could look something along these lines whereby a product based on previous purchases using data analytics, uh, a retailer could engage with a shopper knowing where they are geographically based on their, their mobile phone giving off information and could target a message saying this is your, your basket of goods that you normally buy, we actually now have a special uh, on 80% of those items come into the store and get it and by the way we've got a, a complimentary product that we're going to give to you for free. We know you, we love you, please come and buy from us right now. So with broadband costs hopefully declining and with more and more people using uh, cell phones, the technology available to engage around your next purchase or your grocery um, basket could be a lot closer to home than you think with the emergence of, of goods which communicate uh, backwards giving intelligence to a supplier about the, the lack of stock. So a fridge indicating that uh, you've run out of beer or cheese and uh, referencing a particular retailer who then sends you a prompt to say, hey, your goods are, are running out, you need to come and get new, new product and then replenishing that. So that's driving a transaction from an analytics point of view. That sounds a bit far-fetched, but some of that is not too far away for us as consumers. It just depends on the realm and, and the appetite and, I suppose, strategic intent of a particular retailer or service provider as to whether they want to grow and build that kind of relationship with their shoppers or the, the consumers of their product. But it does certainly create a barrier to entry um, for, for companies who are seeking to go forward in that realm. But that, that is not something that's too, too distant for us in the future. Mm -hmm.